Hello and welcome to Catherine's Garden. Well, the seasons change. We are just about wrapping up fall and soon all of these oak leaves will be down. Yet when I look around, I have flashbacks of Catherine's urban cottage garden. Thank you for coming along with me and sharing my garden memories. I really appreciate you. So let's be thankful. As I step out on my deck, it hit me that the season has really changed, that things are not the same. And I ended up having a flashback, a reminder of what was. I purchased these other two pots and I'm thinking very much that I'm going to possibly put the strawberry when I see the cushions over there, and yet they needed to be packed away, there's still so much to do. And when I look at the leaves, the beautiful oak tree leaves, they're on the deck, and they have to be cleared. And I feel the nip of the cold in the air. The temperatures have dropped to the low 20s and I think it even dipped down into the teens and I know that this is real because when I look at my salad bowl and I see that the carrots are no longer there and the beets have frozen then I'm, I realize that yes, the season is over and the garden is ready to go to sleep. Yet I am thankful. What a beautiful, beautiful 2019 gardening season here in Catherine's Garden. Let's go back and remember some of those times in June, July, August. Well, this is what the garden looks like and it's November 12th. It's starting to rain and um, I was able to actually do a little bit of clearing of the beds um, but I've decided that I'm going to just cover a lot of them with leaves and then later on in the season you know of um, February or early March to clear away the leaves and it worked last year especially in that back bed area there I let the leaves stay and then I was able to move the leaves away and because the leaves had started to deteriorate and so forth, I was then able to use it as um, compost or mulch for the spring garden. Um, check this out here, it's the hydrangea, the hydrangea leaves. And the back bed there, you see that? So I'm excited about what is to come, even though it's a little sad to see it all go. But I think I learned so much this um, growing season. Um, I met so many wonderful people, a whole new growing community. I started and was able to push 
um, my channel and also came into my identity as an urban cottage garden. So I'm excited about um, what was and I'm excited about what will be as well. Let's be thankful for my urban cottage garden. Thank you. To be filled with gratitude, the attitude of gratitude and thanksgiving to God, the time that we spend just instead of worrying and doubting and complaining, but instead we spend that time in gratitude to God that we are going to find the answers coming our way. So it's in thanksgiving that our answers um, can be found. And also it's about our mindset. What are you thinking of? Tell him every detail of your life. Then God's wonderful, then God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding will make the answers known to you through Christ Jesus. So, you know, I was talking about the details and uh, you can go back and look at that video. When I talk about details, that God is in the details. And sometimes we give the devil credit for um, being in the details. We say the devil is in the details. No, God is in the details. He's the one who um, created all of these things. When, when I look at this arborvitae tree, it is so huge. But yet, each of the flower, or each of the the, the shape of these leaves are so intricately designed yes because God is in the detail and then when we look at the wholeness of it this is so huge <laughs> look at this arborvitae it is so crazy when we look at it as one main big huge arborvitae tree we will or shrub would say wow you know, we could see the whole thing, but then when we come in and we look at the very details of it. It's, it's so unique and it's so intricate that each little uh, branch is so uniquely made to make up the full branch. So God's wonderful peace will fill us when we are full of gratitude, when we're full of thanksgiving in our hearts, and we will receive God's wonderful peace that transcends human understanding, and it will make the answers known to you through Jesus Christ. So instead of wondering and, and being um, anxious about the answers, we need to ask God and He will help us. He will give us that peace that we desire. He will show us what we need to do. He'll give us the direction that we need to go. And uh, it will help us to actually fulfill His purpose within our lives. So this is what Paul the um, writer of this says, so keep your thoughts continually fixed on all that is authentic and real, honorable and admirable, beautiful and respectful, pure and holy, merciful and kind, and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God, praising Him always. So there you go. Um, as Proverbs says, as a man thinks, so is he. Well, if our thoughts are fixed on what God wants us to fix them on, if our thoughts are fixed on authentic and real, honorable, um, admirable, beautiful, respectful, pure, holy, merciful, and kind things, then we're going to find that we are, are going to be successful. Now look at this beautiful rose coming in again. Isn't that nice? My second flush of rose roses coming in. Yes. And I just like how things are just starting to take a turn. And instead of being, um, you know, thinking of, of the negative, worrying about things, 
just look at and dwell on the beautiful things the respectful things the holy things the pure things the merciful things and the kind things in our world today people aren't very kind yeah but when we for, formulate and create a community that is full of kindness like this community we're going to find that the answers that we need the blessings that God has for us will come to us because we are exhibiting what he is he's a kind God he's a merciful God he's a thoughtful God and we are thankful I'm thankful for my cabbage here yeah it's rebounding nicely I am thankful for the food that I'm receiving from my garden. Now I could focus in on the holes and the the cabbage, whatever is eating up my cabbage, or I can focus in on the beauty of the cabbage and enjoy it. Just enjoy how it looks. And I, I and we, I want us to focus in on the beauty of God knowing that he has the answers that we need that he will continue to direct our steps as we continue to stay in praise and worship and we fasten our thoughts on every glorious work of god praising him always and you know it's easy to do that it's easy to praise the lord in the garden so my fellow gardeners Go out into your garden and enjoy every bit of it. Look for the good. Look for the positive. Look for the things that make you happy. You know, just like how it says here. Now this makes me very happy, these um, oriental lilies. And the fact that we can record this and keep it um, and go back and look at it and uh, enjoy it is such a good thing. He says for us to keep our minds on in perfect, he will keep our mind in perfect peace as we uh, continue to fix all that is authentic, keep our mind on things that are authentic, real, yeah, like my beautiful lilies here, they're real, real, honorable, admirable, beautiful hallelujah beautiful it's so beautiful look at them beautiful hallelujah fix your mind on things that are beautiful hallelujah as we fix our mind on things that are beautiful and respectful pure and holy merciful and kind and fasten your thoughts on every glorious work of God praising him always I do love um, the rose hips. Let's see. I know that the birds are going to enjoy these rose hips and the squirrels, especially in February when food is scarce. They'll definitely enjoy that. And the color is so pretty. I'm very much aware of leaving the seed heads on things because I know that the birds are going to need that food. The squirrels are busy working. 
putting together their their meal for the winter. Each year the roses have returned and I know they're going to return for 2020 so I'm thankful. Let's take a quick look at all of the roses that are blooming in the garden this day on Wednesday. Wednesday June 20th I believe yeah I just wanted you to see this because it just rained last night and the roses are looking so fresh and alive the temperature is really mild it's about in the 60s and so that everything is so fresh and beautiful look at this I just love these blooms. And it 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 is just partnering so well here with my hydrangea bush. Now this shrub is going to be uh, coming out with white flowers and it's going to just fill up this corner when the roses are not as prolific. Um, this rose bush, it does, um, you know, come back in the fall. Um, it's a recurring bloomer. And so it's going to look so good with the hydrangea. Because of all of the rain that we've been getting, the flowers, the perennials have just been so happy. It's like they've gotten a break, a chance to grow and to show out. I'm so happy about this. Usually around the Thanksgiving break around November 25th or so the rest of the leaves will come down and then we're able to make a real good cleanup of the garden so I know it's a mess right now but I know that time is coming where we will definitely clear up all of this and set the bed, the beds to rest and the garden will be ready for sleep. Now, as I said, I'm not going to take up all of the leaves off the beds because um, it will be able to protect a lot of the plants. And it will nourish the uh, the ground as well the back to Eden method he always says to cover the ground now my husband did clear this but I believe that we're going to get some mulch and cover this space here so that's what I want to do keep the um, the ground covered and allow the rain and the water and all of the other um, processes to nourish the ground, almost like a compost tea. But check these leaves out. Wow. Look at the design. <laughs> There's still a, even a beauty in this. At least I see it. And, and check this out these are filled with seeds I know I'm going to have purple perilla all over my garden and the leaves are really a good uh, support for the ground cover I 
am dreaming about seeing these marigolds all up and down and around the garden. What is it that you are dreaming about? What is it that you are desiring? What are you thinking about? What do you want to see happen? And that's the key. That's the key. Figure out what it is. What are your goals? What do you want for your life? Then start thinking about it. Start dreaming about it. Start imagining it. And you will see it come to pass. It will open up for you. I wanted to have nasturtiums in my garden. So I went out and I bought some seeds. Now I could have sat on those seeds and not planted them. But then I planted the seeds. And this is the result. First there was desire. And then I acted on it. And then this is the result of that. I remember in January, or actually it was in September, no, November, when the leaves came down and I said, I want to expand this bed. And I just hauled all of the leaves into this area. It was like a little hole or dip and filled it up and uh, kept compiling leaves, grass clippings and um, even some compost and dirt from other parts of the garden we put over here so that um, it can start to formulate. And I know if I dug that this dirt over here that I would have um, some really rich soil but I'm waiting for next year to actually work that and that's the same thing for this area here that next year this is going to be really ready for um, the vegetables and all of the things that I want to plant here and um, I planted this mint last year over here and they have um, decided to grow they're just trailing through and just growing and I'm just letting them grow now this mint I received from a lady last year in the community garden she shared it with me it's a curly sort of um, a spearmint leaf and it's just spreading. I planted some pumpkin seeds over here and they are just moving too. It's like my ex experiment bed for now. <laughs> it looks a mess, huh? But that is part of life too. Trying things out, figuring it out. And then eventually it will all come to pass what you're looking for. It's a process. It's the process of the garden. Uh, when I look at this part here, that's where the lilies used to be. I remember that the hydrangea bushes were back in the back growing green and beautiful. I recall also the chrysanthemums and the dahlias that I just picked up, dug up, yes, and removed. And then the cabbage, it all comes back to me. But yet there is hope because I know that gardening season 2020 We'll be here soon. Before you know it, we'll be back out here digging and 
planting and sowing, reaping a harvest again. So I am excited. Now, I, I really must clear this bed up a little bit more. Um, because it's filled with the hoster, and I know that they say anyway that the hosta leaves will hide different diseases and things, or critters. And, so we'll see. Um, but then I'm going to have to find some way of covering it back. Maybe I'll just leave it. I'm not sure, but... Um, the vines are all um, dried up here and the apple tree and everything is just, hmm. It's just another phase in the garden. Look at this, this was my rose bush. Now we can really see the the apple tree and the pear trees and the peach trees. I'm going to have to definitely clean the ground here because of the fruit that probably fell amongst the um, leaves here, and I don't want them to contaminate or have disease you know, spread the disease. So I'm going to work on that. But look at the structure of this Asian pear tree. Hmm. It looks strong and healthy. And my pear tree here. This is a wonderful addition. I'm very happy for it. Well, that is what we have for now.
Um, it's garbage day. It's after um, Veterans Day, so the trash men, the garbage men are out. But this is the garden. In this area here, things are just a blooming. <laughs> and look at how this uh, squash plant is just trailing through. I don't know where it plans on going, and I don't know what I'm going to do with it. But, and I also have uh, my cantaloupe there that's growing, and these blooms are looking so good. The hydrangea blooms. Blossoms looking really nice. In here, I see a squash growing. Yeah. And the flowers continue to bloom, they're looking good. Yeah, just trailing down. This is fantastic. I'm gonna have to go and clip those uh, butterfly bush flowers. But other than that, everything's looking very good. I have eggplants growing. This is moving up in amongst the bush here, which is good. Yeah, everything's looking pretty nice in this side garden. Well, I finished putting in the allium bulbs, the gladiator allium bulbs, and I also was able to start the cleanup here in this front bed. And this is what it looks like. I cut down the um, different plants, the cosmos and so forth, but I wanted to leave the uh, roots in the ground because they said that's good for the micro Crow-isms. Um, <laughs> they said that the uh, not to dig up the ground or pull up the wheat, the roots, uh, because it's good for the soil and the different um, creatures in the soil. So I did that. But this is what it looks like, and um, of course, there's more to happen here uh, because there's still more leaves on the trees there that need to uh, come down. And so um, as uh, things continue to change, the temperature changes, the weather changes, so forth, I will continue to work on the garden. But this is what it looks like. I think it still looks attractive. Of course, it's in its winter scene. And then I do have um, plants or shrubs that are evergreen. For example, the evergreen um, shrubs there and the euonymus. So we will have some form of color for the winter. Well, if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Have you um, put everything away? Are you, have you caught up with your fall cleanup? And um, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? Just leave a comment down below and let me know what you are thankful for as we head into this Thanksgiving season, knowing that God has been good to us. Yes, he has. And the garden has been great because it has given us all that we need, 
all that beautiful beauty and harvest of wonderful vegetables, time, and the moments of calm, peace, and joy. We say thank you. Well, thank you for journeying with me back in time to recall all of the goodness of the garden. And if you like this video, then like, share, and subscribe. Come and join me again. Hit the notification button for more videos to come because I will be reflecting on the goodness of Catherine's Urban Cottage Garden. I want to remind you that you are wonderful and that you are beautiful and that you are God's garden. So go on out there and shine. Bye.